Well, you may begin. So, my dear friends, you are, you didn't know it, but you are here to engage in a Spanish lesson. So, bienvenidos a la clase de español de Profe Loba. Yo me llamo Profe Loba. Dice, hola, Profe Loba. Dime, hola, Profe Loba. This is me dressed as Frida Kahlo last Halloween. When I go like this, I need response from you. This is what I do in my classroom. I need to know you're with me. So, when it, just take it in like a warm wave in the Caribbean. Ready? <gasps> Excelente. Perfecto. Le gusta clase. Le gusta. <gasps> ah, le gusta. Sí. Um, my wonderful husband and my friend Kim are participating this evening. Kim, a ti te gusta bailar? Oh, yes. Sí, a ti te gusta bailar? <gasps> Kim, a ti te gusta bailar? Clase. Kim, le gusta bailar? <gasps> Ah, sí, Kim le gusta bailar clase. Ben, ¿a ti te gusta correr? Uh, Ben, clase, Ben le gusta correr. Ah, claro, Ben, es obvio, Ben le gusta correr. Um, Kim, ¿a ti? ¿A ti te gusta bailar? Oh, Kim, te gusta bailar, bailar, bailar. ¿A ti te gusta bailar conmigo? Sí, excelente, Kim. ¿A ti te gusta bailar conmigo? A mí me gusta bailar. Clase, a mí, profe Loba, a mí. A mí me gusta bailar. Ah, clase, profe Loba y Kim. Nos gusta. Te gusta bailar? Excelente, clase. Kim le gusta bailar? Y yo, a mí me gusta bailar. Um, ben, ¿a ti? ¿A ti te gusta correr? Sí. Ben, ¿te gusta correr con una banana? ¿Sí o no? Oh, clase. Ben, le gusta correr con una banana. Oh, qué ridículo. Clase. Um, señorita Kim. Um, ¿A ti te gusta bailar con un gato? Sí. ¡Uh! ¡Clase! Es impresionante. ¿Quién le gusta bailar con un gato? ¡Wow! ¡Clase! ¿A Shakira sí o no? ¿Shakira le gusta bailar sí o no? Sí. ¡Claro! ¡Sí! ¡Shakira le gusta bailar! Es obvio que Shakira... Le gusta bailar, claro, clase. Altarra Umarra. ¿Le gusta correr, clase, sí o no? Sí, sí. Altarra Umarra le gusta correr, es obvio, sí. Altarra Umarra le gusta correr, clase. Perfecto, you guys are good. Ok, clase, aquí, aquí, en Ellen. Aquí, en el teatro, Ellen. ¿Quién le gusta bailar? ¿Kim o Ben? Kim. Ah, oh, perfecto. ¿Quién le gusta bailar? ¿Y quién le gusta correr? Ben, es obvio. Ben le gusta correr, es obvio. ¿Kim, a ti? ¿A ti te gusta bailar con un pato? ¡Oh! oh, oh. ¡Qué ridículo, ¿no? ¿Quién le gusta bailar con un pato, clase? Oh, clase. Uh, señor Ben, um, ¿te gusta? ¿A ti te gusta correr con una hamburguesa? No. Oh, that's safer. Ok. Uh, ¿A ti no te gusta correr con una hamburguesa? Es obvio, clase. Ben no le gusta correr con una hamburguesa. <gasps> we live in a global economy. We cannot rely on translator apps. They don't work. We have these beautiful things right here. We cannot be put into a computer application, and thank goodness for that. We need to learn languages in a loving, safe, and secure way. We need to feel safe to make mistakes. The limbic system is our emotional core of our brain. 
Everything has to go through it first before we can learn anything. If we don't feel safe, we learn nothing. Dr. Stephen Krashen, I heard him talk this summer at a conference I went to, and he literally changed my life. He, he talked about teaching a language with a natural approach with comprehensible input. You need to understand what's being put into your brain. We need low anxiety situations and personalized messages that will stick in our brains. This was me learning Spanish in middle school and high school. I loved it, obviously I'm still doing it, but there were long lists of vocabulary and conjugations and grammar, and now I love it, truth, truthfully, but then I didn't. And only, they've shown that only 4% of the population actually does enjoy it. We need to learn, we need to learn like toddlers. We need that repetition, sometimes over 250 times. The average human brain needs 250 repetitions. Would you like water? Do you want cold water? Do you want hot water? Would you like water in your bath? <coughs> that kind of repetition. So that's how I speak to my children and to my students. You circle the vocabulary. You go slow. You point. You pause. You check for comprehension to make sure they're with you. You teach to the eyes. I stay in the vocabulary bounds that I'm given, and I personalize. We retain things if, we, if it's personalized. We all want to go to places like Tulum, Mexico. Who doesn't? So, in order to be do, to do, able to travel and do these things as Americans, we need to get rid of the stigma of Americans not knowing language so we can communicate in beautiful places like this. So, please help me in moving towards the natural approach for language acquisition, Bozeman. Gracias.